International revenue share fraud is um, is where when a fraudster tries to exploit a revenue share relationship between a service provider and a partner. It's 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 a very so it's a it's a very simple uh, term as you could as you could imagine. But then the the losses due to this for a service provider or operator can can be quite uh, quite high. And this is the reason there's a lot of significance uh, within the operator fraternity to actually stop such kind of fraud friends. A typical fraudster is somebody like just you and me. I mean, they're just normal subscribers who actually subscribe to the service of an operator like, like you and me does by providing all the right documentation. But what is key here is the intent which, with which the fraudster takes a subscription and a normal user takes a subscription is completely different because you and me would take a subscription to actually use the mobile phone but the fraudsters clear intent is actually to perform some fraudulent activities and 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 make money out of it so the profile and this is why it's tricky because the profiles are go, always going to look mostly the same but then there would be a deviation at some point of time and this is where one needs to be vigilant looking out for those deviations in profiles and picking it up as early as possible, as real near, uh, near real time as possible, so one can actually take actions. The biggest challenge is being, uh, being real time and uh, being able to take actions on fraud uh, as it happens. And this would be a challenge um, for the existing technologies and also for future technologies which, which operators will actually launch. the move from real time to being more proactive really depends upon how, how how prepared you are with the global information to actually take actions uh, proactively so so what it means is you should have access to global trends on a on a real time basis and have analysis of those trends being done and rolled it back into your network so that you're able to actually take actions to stop fraud from uh, fraud from happening. So it's 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 you know it's really a combination of technology, machine learning, data analytics, and most importantly, uh, having the information handy, um, which you can then use for for stopping fraud or being more proactive.